Hey, what's going on, everyone? The West Productions 100 bringing you another reaction video. This is going to be a reaction to a YouTube poop from a uh, very famous YTP creator, CS188. This is a YTP called a YTP Favel Pencil and Microsoft O O Lens deliver amazing things. And so, without further ado, let's check out this YTP. Josh, Touch, of course. Is the primary method of interaction with your operation. What? <laughs> you can press lightly, press harder, press harder, press harder. Apple Pencil is designed to look and feel like a fucking pencil. Wow. Finger connector lets you recharge your finger by plugging it directly into your rectal location. <laughs> Apple Pencil feels like a true Apple Pro with optimal accuracy. When you are using the pencil, the system costs working twice as often. You need large. That's not so good, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's something extraordinary. It's stroke. stroke. This is a work of art right here, people. What what just happened to that guy? Actually gives you the ability to touch. Wow. Extraordinary. <laughs> But what? Look around. Technology, Technology is all around. around. No shit. Technology is us. No, it doesn't. What if we could, all... what what if if we could go, go see the world collapse? collapse? What, what if, if we could the thing we can't? <laughs> what if we could go beyond the screen? <laughs> Where your dick <laughs> is blended. What up, <laughs> You know, on a serious note, I want to get one of those. This those hollow lenses. Uh, <laughs> this is the world with holograms. Looks pretty fucking cool. I can watch all my YouTube poops this way. I can do a reaction video with like, goggles on. New ways to share sexual ideas with each other. I just put the in one drive. More immersive ways to get ways to. <laughs> New ways to collaborate and explore the places we've never been. Look at this formation. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> it enables us to do amazing things. New ways to visualize us. Now we can't work. This is this is the world with holograms. New ways to teach and learn. So, so put, put the, the new, new trap, trap in the place of the old one. one. Now what? Titan here and here. Then here and here. I'm hoping for like a Titan here e joke, though I doubt it. And put the old trap in the place of the old one. Let's move like 2000. And Titan here and here. <laughs> Allows it to be used simultaneously with your finger. <laughs> Amazing things. Wow. It delivers something extraordinary. <laughs> what if we could do hate press? It enables us to do amazing things. Use virtual coke. Man, because when you change the way you see the world, you can change the way the world sees you. <laughs> with your finger, 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 with your finger. Yeah, it looks good, people. Yeah, you should definitely uh, uh, contr contribute at least one dollar to his Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I also have a Patreon to shout out to Twilight City Studios. Consider at least supporting independent media production, movies, videos, and other stuff like books and audiobooks for at least one dollar a month. Uh, also, other options as well, and uh, the financing there would help to fund indie movie projects. So yeah. And uh, actually, there's some there's thing I gotta say about this video uh, when I was watching it, but I actually wanted to wait until uh, until uh, until after. So the funny thing about this is, I think unintentionally it brings up something interesting, or possibly intentionally, I'm not sure. But um, you know, when companies promote products like this, like you know, with, with virtual reality and holograms and stuff like that, we see. Um, what we ideally think of as very practical, beneficial uses of that technology. And that's not to say it's not true. It is very true. 
you can do those things and it's actually you probably should do, do the use use the technology for those things you know like uh like educational purposes or scientific purposes or business purposes i think you know the a hololens type of product or a virtual reality product comes in handy in certain instances whereas before we wouldn't have a, had those products which um using it uh the way CSS CS one eighty eight uses uses it, making sex jokes and showing sexual uh, things or like alluding to sexual references, uh, you know, without a doubt, you're gonna see that shit too. Let's just be real, people. Like, you know, when the internet first came out, I highly doubt people who first made the internet were thinking we're gonna people are gonna be using this for porn or probably like maybe it was like a like a, a, a certain a, 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 a momentary thought but they probably didn't think like it would really be a big thing and like porn on the internet is you know it's a huge industry so like uh even though you don't see it really promoted in the official like you know videos and stuff like that um you know without a doubt that that's gonna happen i mean like and there's other things we just can't you know we can't predict uh about the future like for instance uh the Uganda Knuckles thing, like, who in the, who in the world saw that coming? Like, seriously, who the hell saw that coming? That whole thing with the Uganda Knuckles in virtual reality, like, when people are thinking of, like, wow, this is going to be virtual reality, we can do this, we can do that, I highly doubt the vast majority, 99.9% .9 of people didn't imagine something like Uganda Knuckles happening. So, I just, you know, that's the thing about the future, is, like, when it comes to predicting things, you can predict, it's easier to predict, um, you know, the more general broad things like, oh, there's going to be holograms or there's going to be virtual reality, but it's a lot harder to predict the smaller details of like, how will this technology be used in certain circumstances or what will be su more, the more subtle effects of that. I think another good example that has already happened is cars. Like when people first started producing cars, like Henry Ford. I know he didn't invent the car. He he met, he was the first to mass produce cars to make them more affordable to the general population. Point being, pioneers like him and others in the field of making cars, I think they and others predicted like, oh, the car is going to become um, the a common. A product, a common, a common device that will be used by people, and they are right. What they probably didn't think of was certain other things, like the development of suburbs. Because without cars, there really isn't. It would be harder for the suburbs, as we know them in the United States, to be a thing. Uh, the country as a whole, this the United States, is a very auto-dependent country. So, you know, the automobile has really shaped a lot of things in the United States and in other places as well. As well. Um, like, yeah, like I said, the development of the suburbs, like, that would have been a lot harder to predict, you know, and then just, and just little smaller details like that. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of thought provoking from this YouTube poop for some reason just got me thinking about the future. I would really like to get a HoloLens as well, uh, if I can. Like I think those 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 uh those hollow lenses look very cool. Augmented reality and virtual reality are very promising. I like the ideas behind them. I definitely see benefits to them uh, in our daily lives. Like for instance, like you know, like they showed in the video, uh, how to fix you know your sink plump the plumbing for your sink. So like, and it would show like actual like arrows like. Oh, like, you know, you would twist, you know, twist it here and you twist it there. You know, it makes, it would make some things, you know, instructionally more simple and easier to follow, you know, uh, than like, let's say like an instruction manual, like an instruction manual helps. Don't get me wrong. They do help. But, uh, being able to physically see in front of your eyes, like the arrows twisting and turning, you know, when you're trying to like work on, a, on some kind of project that requires something like that, like, you know, carpentry or woodworking, you know, being able to see it, you know, in front of your eyes and not having to look at a book, you know, there's more efficiency to that. At least to me, there is maybe else, maybe some other people are, don't see it that way. I see it that way. That was an entertaining, uh, 
YouTube poop. I like how he attached two products from two big rival corporations, Apple and Microsoft. And uh, well, I, don't, I don't know if he really, I would, maybe attached isn't the right word, maybe like parodied, parodied is, a, is a better word. Very interesting YouTube poop overall. And if you feel like uh, uh, contributing to his Patreon, feel free to contribute to his Patreon. Uh, check out my other channel, Twilight City Studios. I also have a Patreon for that channel as well. And so without further ado, that concludes this video. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.